Good morning, guys. I'm super excited because I finally got my hands on some Charlotte strawberries. I've been pining after these for my own garden for over a year now, ever since I tasted them at someone else's farm. And I know all strawberries are delicious. My former favorites were Cabot and Wendy, which are pretty hard to beat. Oh my gosh, would you be quiet over there? Sorry, my hen is real excited. She just laid her egg. But Charlotte blows everything out of the water. It's amazing. It's just like this sweet, wonderful strawberry candy bomb of flavor. Charlotte is a French variety that came from a cross between Mara de Bois, a French heirloom, and a California variety, which I can't remember the name of right offhand. But if you're familiar with Mara de Bois, you know that it kind of has a cult following because of its incredible flavor and this amazing aromatic floral fragrance that it has. The problem with Mara is that the berries are quite small and soft. So what Charlotte has done is take that amazing, amazing flavor and combine it with a bigger, firmer berry, which makes a really nice eating experience. So I'm gonna get my new Charlottes planted today. And I also wanted to share with you a few tips that I've kind of learned about growing strawberries through trial and error over the years. Now, the very first thing I want to point out, and this could perhaps be the most important, is this soil. Now, <laughs> I wish this were our soil, it is not. We have horrible, awful clay soil, and this has taken a lot of work on my part. My point is here that strawberries will actually do well in a, ride, in a wide variety of soil types, but they don't like heavy, slow-draining, wet soil, which is pretty much exactly what I have. So to amend this soil and to amend this whole plot where I've got these berries planted, I basically had to dig out a lot of the clay, bring in some peat and compost, mix everything together, and then dump it back on this site before I planted. So now what we have is this nice, well-draining, high in organic matter soil, which is really gonna support strawberries. The other thing to keep in mind with strawberries is that they do prefer a slightly higher pH, so between 5.5 and 6.5. So these are bare root strawberry plants. You can see they don't look like a, a whole lot here, but these will perk up once they're planted. So I got these in the mail. I actually bought these plants from Gurney's and just received them um, about a day and a half ago. As soon as I got them, I stuck the roots in water and let them soak. And then I'm gonna separate these out. I think I should have 10 plants here. And I'm gonna get these planted. So when planting strawberries, you just want to make a planting hole that's gonna be deep and wide enough to accommodate this root system without crowding or bending it. So I'm gonna go in here, make a nice deep hole Place this plant in here, make sure I've got enough room for the roots. And then you want this crown, which is the very top growing point of this plant here, to be right at soil level. So place my plant, and then I'm gonna backfill with my soil. Make sure that crown stays level. And just firm that soil in to kind of get rid of any air pockets. Now we're going to do the same with the rest of the berry plants. Depending on where you're planting and what variety you have, you'll see planting instructions varying from anywhere between 10 inches apart for plants to 24 inches. Some plants will need a little extra room because they tend to be very vigorous, put out very vigorous runners. In general, I like to space mine about 12 inches apart. That gives plenty of room for the plants to spread and put out new runners and makes for a nice filled in, kind of a pretty strawberry patch. Now I've got these all planted, I'm just gonna give them a small dose of a balanced fertilizer. A 10-10-10 will work well. And that's just to get these plants kind of a jump start on growth. Something to keep in mind with strawberries, I've noticed a lot of advice out on the internet that says to fertilize them in the spring. But from looking at university research, 
you actually want to avoid fertilizing them with nitrogen in the spring because this will lead to a lot of excess foliar growth and soft berries, which is not good because soft berries are more prone to um, attacks from insects and rots and those types of things. It's better to actually fertilize them right after the harvest because that will help rejuvenate the plants, especially if you're doing a planting renewal at that time, like mowing down all your plants and letting them flush out new growth. The other thing is, to avoid over fertilizing in general, over nitrogen in general, because again, that will lead to a lot of foliar growth on these plants at the cost of the yield. So you'll get more foliage, less berries, which is not what you want. And then we're gonna water these babies in. You wanna keep these watered well until they get established. And then strawberries, as a general rule, prefer about an inch to an inch, inch and a half of water per week. It is important to keep them watered, but it's equally as important not to get overzealous and overwater them because waterlogged roots are gonna do just as much damage as underwatering them. So if you're unsure like how much rain you got, stick your finger an inch to two inches down in the soil. If it feels super dry down in there, just give them a nice deep drink of water once a week. And then the last step with these newly planted berries is to mulch them. Now, the name strawberries may have given you a clue, but strawberries grow well with a straw mulch. It helps kind of keep the roots cool and moist. It helps suppress weed competition. But I will tell you honestly, my absolute favorite preferred mulch for strawberries is pine bark mulch or pine fines. I don't have any right now, so I'm not using them, but I find that it works really well, at least in my area with my soil, because the pine tends to add a little bit of acidity. It looks really nice, and it does an excellent job keeping the weeds suppressed. So just keep that in mind. You can also use things like pine needles. Um, I think they sell like a chopped straw mulch, which is actually a little easier to use, but kind of anything that's gonna help suppress the weeds. Now keep an eye on your plants as they grow because in about a month, month and a half or so, sometimes even less, they'll actually start to put on blossoms. The first year you are going to want to pick these off. <laughs> I know that seems really counterintuitive. Like, what? I'm planting these for berries. Why would I pick the flowers off? But bear with me here. You want to do this because if you let them fruit the first year, you are essentially sucking their ability to put vigorous growth into the plant and the roots. So by pinching the blooms off in the first year, you're allowing the plant to get a really nice vigorous root system to really put a lot of growth and strength into this plant. And that's gonna give you a bumper crop the following year. And it's going to give you bigger, healthier plants and bigger yields in the long run. So that's it. I got my new Charlotte planted and I'll be enjoying berries in a couple of seasons. And I highly recommend you get some strawberries planted too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.